So let's now look at the uh, dangerous situation when we have a liquidity trap and deflation at the same time. So now imagine that for whatever reason the IS has gone uh, to the left so much that now we are at a liquidity trap and we have lost our monetary policy. That is, we cannot affect output uh, using uh, monetary policy. Because we are at a zero lower bound at the nominal interest rate equal to zero percent. But currently we are uh, way uh, down here, far away from our uh, natural rate of output. So we know that if this happens, we have uh, the prices go down, and that is there are uh, deflationary expectations. When that happens, remember the real interest rate goes up, then uh, well, investment and consumption go down and output goes farther down. That means that unemployment, the unemployment rate will go up and this worsening of the situation in the economy will uh, force workers to accept lower nominal wage. That means that firms will face uh, lower costs and that uh, they will set lower prices and people will be wrong about their expectations, so they will uh, lower their expectations about the price level, and then that will provoke, again, uh, deflationary pressures and expectations, and uh, that will, uh, again, uh, lower, sorry, increase the real interest rate, which will lower output, and so on and so on. And this will continue, basically, if we don't stop it. It looks like this, because of the lowering of uh, expectations about, uh, well, we have uh, expectations about deflation, then the economy uh, will just shift to the left, because the IS is shifting to the left. That means lower output at an even, uh, uh, at the same interest rate, because we are at a liquidity trap. And if we don't uh, shift the uh, the IS, if we don't try to expand the economy using uh, um, fiscal policy, using, uh, I don't know, um, using uh, lower taxes or increasing the government expanding, then we will just uh, go farther and farther down uh, the road and we'll get deeper and deeper into that liquidity trap after many periods of deflationary expectations. So that is a serious problem. As if we were in a liquidity trap, that is, with the nominal interest rate at zero, but our expected inflation was uh, 10%, that wouldn't be a problem because the, the real interest rate would just be negative. That would mean that we would have a boost in uh, investment and consumption that will increase output. So the, the liquidity trap here is not a problem. The problem is when uh, we have uh, deflationary expectations, People expect uh, prices to go down. And then here we have minus, minus 5, which is plus, plus 5. And then we have a positive a real interest rate. Uh, and that means that investment will go down and consumption will go down because they will just invest in bonds. And, of course, output will go down. So whenever we have a liquidity trap plus deflationary expectations, uh, the liquidity trap is a real problem.